Hello everybody, how are you? This is Karthik Poovan. I'm, I'm a leadership coach, author and a travel explorer. How are you all? It's not good to sleep with an unresolved emotional issue because unresolved emotional issues create turmoil with it. It can also lead to various lifestyle diseases and chronic ailments and today there's substantial medical evidence to prove beyond any doubt about the psychosomatic diseases. These words are more profoundly used in the medical culture. What happens when you are suppressing your emotions? Basically what's essentially happening is there's also a clogging of energy which is taking place at a very deep subtle level within yourself. It's also restricting your ability to breathe freely. It's not going to give you that ability to make a wise choice to decide how to feel great about yourself. And there is always going to be this anti-well-being emotions. What are anti-well-being emotions like anger, like frustration? You know, when you're angry on somebody, what's happening? It's a simple thing. Today, there is substantial medical evidence to prove beyond any doubt that when you're angry, they can literally take your blood samples and tell you that you're poisoning your blood. Yes. So when you're angry on somebody, what's exactly happening? You're not damaging the other person. You're damaging yourself. You're literally spoiling your ability to feel more healthy, feel more agile, feel more fresh, feel more vibrant. And therefore, it is very, very important to make wise choices. And that is where life coaches and life coaching becomes an integral part of your life to make your life into a fantastic experience of greenery. Many people often overlook this aspect. They are just trying to deal their shit by their own way. You created a see. You cannot use the same mind that got you into the shit. You cannot get the same thought process that got you into that shit. You cannot have the same mind that has got you uh, connected to this anti-well-being emotional states. Using the same kind of a thought process to solve the problem is like thinking that you will reach your destination and not moving an inch. It is not going to be possible in that way. You need to have a different thought process. You need to have a different kind of an approach. You need to have a different kind of an integrity altogether to create the right kind of an internal structure and to be free from this kind of an emotional state which you are going through. And that is where the external help is required because most of the times when we are deep in that shit, we will not be in a position to look into those aspects. And somewhere we neglect our internal states and well-being from seeking help. And that is the reason why the majority of the world is chaotic because they are not bringing expertise in their life. They're not bringing grace in their life. You can see the hill over there behind. That's Lord Balaji's place. And I connect with Lord Balaji. I always say, Jai, 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 Balaji. Why do I say? I'm connecting to this higher force. I'm also equipping, equip, um, equip, uh, equipping myself with more powerful technique. You know, it's very, very important to equip yourself with powerful technique, powerful processes that really rewires your internal states, your internal well-being in a very, very powerful way. Until and unless you have that level of wiseness within you, you have that level of intelligence within you, you're allowing yourself to not stop yourself from well-being. You don't create a roadblock towards your well-being. You are not a speed breaker for your well-being you will naturally experience a lot of vibrant states within yourself and that's what is exactly required. So we need people by our side who can guide us and what else is more fantastic than being digitally accessible? What more fantastic than to be digitally connected? I want you all to, you know, access those digital possibilities through which you can equip yourself, empower yourself and feel great and feel alive within yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, time is short. We must not waste it feeling bad. We must not make, waste it feeling frustrated. We must not waste it by feeling low internally. Have a great time everyone. This is Karthik Poovan. I'm, I'm a leadership coach, author and a travel explorer. And take these decisions, what you heard. Make a decision in life right now to act on your well-being. You might read hundreds of books and when you don't put it into practice, it's not going to work. You might see hundreds of videos, you don't put it into practice, it's not going to work. At the end of the day, it all begins with action. You've got to act. If you don't act, you will not progress. You've got to act. 
you are hungry you don't eat the food you are going to remain hungry the food will be there in front of you you can not just smell the food and quench your hunger right you got to eat likewise eat those things which are going to be good for your well being mentally physically and emotionally and energetically good day